Hey everyone, I hope you all are doing good and having a wonderful day. And as a bug bounty hunter and a penetration tester, I feel that we need to be anonymous and safe while we are doing vulnerability assessment for various reasons, right? Some of the reasons are that there could be a file that want to open or execute that could be dangerous if you were run into directly on our machine, right? Maybe you can use a virtual machine or something like that, but that is not really that efficient, right? Second thing is that this is one of the most common thing is that uh, when we are testing a web application, for example, right, we'll have a registration functionality. And most of the time, we don't want to use our actual account while doing registration, right? Uh, another thing is that there could be a possible possibility that they're not allowing us to register to the particular web application using uh, any social account like Gmail, etc. Right? In that case, we are actually looking for some temporary kind of solution, right? Now, there are a lot of temporary mails, but they're really not that efficient. We need to open the website again. And again, we need to check for the, in uh, check for the inbox and a lot of things right and lastly that this is also one of the most important part is that suppose the application there is a web application that is uh, running globally right now there could be a possibility because of some government issues or something like that that one feature in in country is banned while the same uh, web application is going to behave different in another country right but now if you want to access all of these different uh, behaviors different features we need to either use a vpn or proxy or something like that right so it is actually not efficient as well right for example let's say that if there is a web application that have a different functionality in india and have a di different functionality in singapore right so we need to connect to the sim singapore's vpn right which is not really that efficient now a lot of things are also there for example we also also want to prevent firewalls from blocking our uh, ip address like many times you see that if application is behind some kind of web application firewall you'll see that if you try to inject some kind of payloads for example sql injection or xss1 you will see that your ip gets blocked right now what you you can either use uh, you know, vpn or something like that or you need to wait for 24 hours so that you can get the access back to your ip address right now these are the things that are very challenging for us at the bug bounty hunter right and this is actually a very common problem but don't worry why because in this video i'm going to show you that how we can solve all this problem with a single tool which is absolutely free and then we are going to see that how we can install this tool how we can use this tool and how we can implement this tool in our day-to-day -day bug bounty or penetration testing journey right but as always before going to this video if you haven't checked out my previous video then go ahead and check it out the link of the video is given in the description as well as you can see it at the right side of the screen and now let us begin now let us try to see that how we can install the tool and what the tool name is right so to install the tool what you need to do is uh, you need to open this link into your browser and this link is given in the description so it's a simple link squarex.io slash bp underscore yt okay so let's just copy this link Control shift c and let me just open a new tab over here and now we are going to install a browser which is known as chromium it's nothing but a, a chrome browser for windows we have chromium for linux right and type sudo apt install chromium minus y we'll hit enter give the root password and as you can see in my case chromium is already the newest version right so what i can do is i can simply type chromium over here like this and you see that i got this browser right over here and i can simply paste this link like this okay once you have pasted the link you'll see that we will be redirected to the product so let's wait for a few seconds as you can see this is the product over here so what we need to do now is you can see that this particular tool offers a lot of functionality to us right and we are going to see uh, see it later on but first let's try to add this tool into our chrome okay so i'm going to click on add square x into chrome like this and we'll be waiting a few seconds just wait now as you can see here it is and now we're going to click on add to chrome Let's click on that let's click on add extension and you see that this tool will get installed into our machine into our browser you can see it has been installed right over here it is saying that the final step is to see the instructions so actually we're not interested in that i'm just going to close this one okay now if you go to this ex extension tab over here you see that we have successfully added the square x uh, extension into our browser right now let us try to see that why we are going to use this extension right so remember the problem that we have discussed in the beginning of the video right if i click on this you'll see that it says get started let's click on get started over here and now you see that it is saying to create an account right so let's qu quickly create an account so i'm just going to create an account with my google account so just wait for a few seconds 
now you see once i have created an account over here you see that it is saying that we are all set and now we are going to see that how we can use this extension for our benefit right so let us click on this extension over here now let's click on this and now you'll see right over here we have got this three features which are very interesting for us first thing is disposable browser as you can see it says that it is fast and secure and anonymous browsing from any worldwide location we are going to see that why we are going to use that then second we have disposable file viewer and third we have disposable email right so all of these problems have discussed by me in the beginning of the video right and as you can see with a single extension we will be able to solve all these three problems right now let's try to go into each one of them step by step now a lot of time you'll see that different application behaves differently when we are connected with it with from different location right so if you are using the same application in india and if you are using the same application in some other location then there is a possibility that the application will have some kind of different features because of some government issues okay another thing is that uh, when you are for, for example let's say when you are testing a web application you will see that sometimes the web application will show you some kind of error right because it could be possible that in that scenario what will happen is the uh, application is not allowed in your country right so if you are doing penetration testing or bug bounty hunting then we need to first verify whether these things are actually uh, like, uh, whether the particular http website is live or whether the application has different features or functionality depending on the different region or country right so what you can do is you can just go to the extension and we can just select on square x and we can just launch the disposable browser like so i'm just going to click on start and for the demonstration i'm going to open a website over here let me just open a new tab and you'll see this is the website and let us going to assume that uh, this website have a web application in which we are going to do penetration testing of bug mounting okay let's open this and you see once i have opened this website so currently i am in india so my ip is uh, IP belongs to India, right? So it says that unfortunately we are a bit restricted in India. So we have the following features, right? Login, sign up, and pay locally. Okay. Now from this message itself, now again I'm going to assume that this is uh, a real world application, right? Because this could happen in real world application as well. So again I'm going to assume that this application is restricted in India, as it says. So it has three functionality: login, sign up, and pay locally. Now it could be possible that this application will behave differently if we open this from a different uh, different country right now we can use vpn and all those stuff but you can see that how easy it was to launch the browser over here just click on the uh, like let's go extension just click on this disposable browser and you see that it will get started over here right and now what we can do is we can simply copy the website over here from like this and we can paste it over here let's allow this let us just paste and let us hit enter and let's see what will happen as you can see right now you'll see that this application have a new functionality which is pay internationally so we can assume that this application if we are open this application in other countries it will allow us to pay internationally and if we have opened this in india so india for some reason is not allowing us to pay internationally so it, it is only allowing us to pay locally right so now we have two different functionalities and we can test it on so now that we have confirmed it now we can launch vpn and other stuffs and you see how easy it was to you know uh, just spawn a browser and we can test it out right so this is one feature of squarex now the second thing is and the most interesting part is the temporary mail let me just show you so a lot of times when you see that you want to register onto a particular application you need to go to temp mail or something like this if you don't want to use your original account right so you can just go ahead and play with this disposable email right over here you can see that we can generate a lot of emails you see if, if uh, one of these is not working for you you can always just regenerate it right and now let's try to test it out on a particular website right so i'm just going to use hackerrank.com hackerrank.com because hackerrank have a responsible disclosure and we can just sign up and let's see if it is working or not right so i'm just going to select when i'm here to practice and prepare let's create an account Let's just wait for a few seconds and as you can see it is saying that you need to enter your email address and password right so now i can just go ahead with square x and i can use the email address right over here let's copy this and let's just register this let's say testing account and i'm going to paste the email and then i'm going to type any password okay i'm going to click on i agree to hacker ranks term and services let's create an account 
and you see we've got this so let's click on learn and compete with others student let us just skip this and now first thing first you'll see that it is saying that confirm your email address right now if you haven't used square x if you if you're not going to use square x you actually need to open a new website like temp or something like that right but you see how easy it, it can make the job for you you can just click on this inbox and if there is an email like you can see as over here right you can just click on that and from here we can just click on confirm account right as simple as that and this confirm account is going to be open in the disposable browser you see and now we have confirmed the account as well and if you go over here in the dashboard just wait and you can see the account has been confirmed right so this is as simple as that right so we just have to install the extension and then we can easily spawn a browser we can uh uh, see the email address we can use disposable email and last and the most interesting thing is disposable file viewer right now many times like this will not be in much use if you are into bug bounty hunting but if you are into blue teaming and if you want to check whether the file have some kind of malware or something and if you're thinking that if the particular file have something which can harm your main machine what you can do is you can always open the disposable file viewer like this right and you see it says that browse the file and we can browse any file photos videos or something like that for example i'm going to go with this uh, screenshot right or let's say you are testing for csrf and you want to test whether the csrf is working or not you can just open the html file like i'm going to do over here let's click on select and as you can see we have the csrf right over here and we can log in over here as the victim account and then we can verify whether the csrf poc is actually working or not right in a disposable or in a separate environment right so this this will be a lot useful for you or for those who are into defensive security as well as for us who are into offensive security and want to test the exploit scenario from different machine right we can just easily spawn a disposable file viewer or a disposable browser and we can simply use it to uh, test out our things right so this is basically how we can use square x right and uh, let's just close this and you can see everything is free right so you can just go ahead and install square x into your machine and you'll be able to use a lot of these features right so you can now just hack into any program and you don't have to worry about uh, the temporary emails they are just into the extension you don't have to worry about the uh, viewing the files if you're thinking the file could be suspicious or malicious you can just view it with the file reader disposable file reader or viewer from this particular extension and lastly you can use the disposable browser right and you can choose any location you want and you can see whether you are being blocked by the um, by the target or if the target is behaving differently in different scenarios right something like that so this is basically how you can use square x extension into your bug bounty hunting and your penetration testing right i hope that you have understood it if you have any doubts if you have any issues feel free to let me know your doubts or issues in the comment section also do join our telegram channel if you want to stay updated with the latest trends and technologies going under cyber security as well as web development and if you like the way i teach then i am currently running three courses so all the link of the courses are given in the description so you can check that out and lastly you can click on the link given in the description to install this tool right and now with that being said keep learning Keep hacking and thank you so much for watching.